Yo, what up, what up, what up, guys? Josh Diaz here with a video uh, about the Hydrate Spark Pro Steel water bottle. Um, I got this on Apple.com, the Apple Store, for um, runs around for about eighty dollars. Um, this is a smart water bottle, um, quote unquote. You could uh, connect it to your phone via Bluetooth, and it can connect to your smartwatch, and um, Basically, it could uh, help you keep track of your water intake throughout the day. As you can see right here, you just download the app, set yourself a goal, and then as you drink the water throughout the day, it will uh, keep you up to date on uh, what you're up to so far. So just thought it would be interesting to do a quick unboxing of this. It does come with a little puck on the bottom that will light up to remind you when it's time to drink your water. This is 32 ounces. Like I said, I got it on the Apple Store website. So here we go. So this is the water bottle. Got it in black. Pretty decent size, got some paperwork. Some more paperwork. All right. So that's the inside. It does say it uh, keep your drinks cool. Uh, I believe for like 24 hours. It said, and this did say no hot liquids. So just a heads up. This is the puck here. Does it come out? Oh yes, it does. Okay, believe it or not, we got you got to charge this thing. So you got to keep track of it. I believe. Let's focus on there. I believe that is the charging uh, port there, but we'll see. Going off the cuff here. This looks like the thing, this looks like the thing that goes into Iron Man's chest, right? Am I bugging? Kind of does. Uh, so let's, oh, okay, so it's kind of a twist thing. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's see what else. I know we do have two different uh lids you can have the lid that you sip on with a straw and it has a lid that you could just you know chug there we go so this lid i believe okay so this is the one with the straw so you probably just attach yeah you attach the straw right here and then you could begin to enjoy your water this one okay yeah this one is you just uh, sip it right here from that spout there so that's pretty cool and it does lock here so I can't open it you have to press that button here to unlock it it's pretty dope uh, and this looks like this is how you will be able to charge your little puck. So yeah, I was right. You uh, just connect that here, got the USB, and then you just charge it. Uh, did it not come with a straw? Oh, it's in the box. Okay, so there's your straw. So I'm gonna get my phone and let's set this thing up. Okay, I'm going through the instructions here and uh, just some highlights for you guys, just so you can see. Uh, this is how you charge it. Just place the puck on a flat surface and attach that charger like we saw earlier. While charging, your puck will illuminate and flash green. Once fully charged, your puck will remain solid green. And um, this is a good point. Before washing, always remove sensor puck. Sensor puck must only be cleaned by using a damp cloth. Never submerge or dishwash sensor puck. So the whole bottle can be washed. Let's get back in focus. Whole bottle can be washed, but be sure to remove the sensor puck before doing that. And just so you can see the info, let's focus. Let's track your daily water intake. You can see your hydration history. And you can earn some trophies and create your own custom glows and integrates with Apple Health, which is pretty cool. And uh, Fitbit. Under Armour and those apps. Join challenges and track your friends.
progress. That, that's pretty cool. All right, so you're gonna be presented with this. Hydrate would like to use Bluetooth, so you are gonna say okay, because that's how it's gonna connect with the puck. Um, so I'm gonna create a profile. Let's just create it with Apple. Okay, next it will, we need some info to create your customized hydration goal. I'm just gonna transfer everything over from Apple Health. Okay, so I agreed to all the terms and conditions and here we go we have the goal it's giving me is 114 ounces a day um and it's asking did i drink water but not from your hydro spark tap to add water i will be doing that because it's already 4 10 in the afternoon and i've already drank some water um so here we go on the bottom we have how much the percentage of the goal i've completed how many bottles i have to go and my streak so that's pretty cool. We have the history here, social history, and the bottle. So I have the app. Now let's add the bottle. So we're going to add a new bottle. What type of smart bottle would you like to connect? The Bluetooth one. So let's see. All right, guys, quick break. Um, I went to set up the bottle, but it was completely dead. I just want to show you what it looks like while it's charging. So while charging, you're going to get that pulsing uh, green light. And the instruction said when it turns a solid green, then it's done charging. So let's get to okay, it. Okay, we are back after charging. Um, it was searching for the bottle. It found it. It is paired. I got my app. Uh, I got the bottle at Apple. I almost said I got the Apple at bottle. Um, okay, remember, never put these sensors in the dishwasher. Next. Calibrate your bottle so that I read accurately. You need to empty, you will need to empty and refill the bottle. All right, so I will be back and do that. So the first part, it says empty a bottle, set it upright on a flat surface with the lid on. So I'm going to be using the straw. So put that here, connect it here, and close this lid. All right, and I just did get a notification that the uh, puck has low battery. So I only charge it for about 10 minutes, so that's understandable. Um, okay, so we hit next. Wait 10 seconds, it is calibrating. Okay. All right, next it says, fill your bottle to the bottom of the thread, set it upright on the flat surface with the lid on. All right, so I'm gonna head to my kitchen real quick and do that and I'll be back. All right, so I'm just back from the kitchen. What I had to do is I had to fill it to the top and then let it calibrate again. So um, after I did that, here we go, we got, we got some instructions. For best results, after drinking, set the bottle on a flat surface for a few seconds so the sensor can measure the water level. After refilling, set the bottle on a flat surface for a few seconds so the sensor can measure the water level. And at least once every day or two, bring the bottle and app near one another to record your water intake. It done, and we are good. So once you connect the water bottle, this is the main screen. So you see my battery is kind of low. I don't know if the glow will work. Um, but I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully, this uh, this thing could uh, be a, a good daily carry with me to work and um, take it out, you know. But guys, let me know what you think. Is it worth the money? I don't know. Eighty bucks is a bit steep for a water bottle. Where you could go to a Dollar Tree and get a water bottle. But um, you know me, I like tech, so this this sounded interesting to me. Guys, I'll check you later. Shout out for all the subscribers. Just hit 200 subs. Thank you all. Um, Hi, Jay Spark. Let's check this out. Peace, guys.